All right, after five, six, seven, eight months, however long it's been, we finally get Megan in 4K. How'd it turn out? Let's get into it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Chris, thanks for stopping by and watching my 4K review for Megan. Okay, so this has been long in the tooth. They released that Blu-ray and I was like, no, I'm not gonna buy it. I know you're gonna do 4K just like Cocaine Bear, just like uh, the Black Phone, all of those crimes of the future, and they did it, they did it. And this time we got a 4K Steelbook exclusive to Best Buy. So let's get into this thing and see how it turned out. There's the front. So it's kind of mocking a box, like she is a doll in a box because she is a doll. Obviously a little more sophisticated than that. There is the back of that. I do like this like purplish maroon kind of color that they've got here. There's the front little instruction manual in there. Obviously the same Blu-ray disc we would have gotten before. And then our 4K disc. So overall, and this is also the unrated version. So this does port over all the special features from that disc. So if you already have that, you have already gotten all the special features, nothing new here. So the one thing you do get is you do get the unrated version of this movie, which up until now I had not seen because I was waiting for them to do the 4K and I was like, well, I don't wanna watch this because then I'll have literally no reason to watch the 4K other than it just being a higher res version of the movie. But I wanted something more. I wanted to dive into that unrated edition when I got this and it's been a long time because I know it came out digitally and I've been waiting. It was fine. It does add a little bit, a little bit of gore in it and blood and stuff like that and it was fine i wish that's the version we had gotten to begin with but that's what blumhouse does but overall this looks really good and i had high hopes for this movie looking pretty good because it is a modern movie and it does look good overall i mean i'm happy to report that so if you were on the fence about getting the blu-ray before i think this is definitely a pickup especially if you get this 4k i think the 4k is really nice this does have a dolby atmos track it does have it has hdr 10 so no dolby vision on this so it's just hdr are 10, which is kind of a bummer. I like Dolby Vision, so that was my only negative here. Uh, I dove into the special features. It's all right. There's a couple like making of things. Most of these like bigger studios, as far as special features go, are pretty lacking. Unless you're getting something from Scream Factory or a Vinegar Syndrome or a Blue Underground, you're probably not going to get a wealth of options there. Overall, I'm glad that this is finally on 4K because I, I do like the movie. I also reviewed this, so I'll link my review at the very end so you can kind of see my more in-depth thoughts with what I thought about the film itself and all of that. And they're making a sequel, which doesn't surprise me. It made a buttload of cash. So it, it, that's what Blumhouse does. You know, we're getting three Exorcist films. So it, whatever works, you know, it doesn't matter if the movie's good or not. Check out my Exorcist Believer review if you want to see my thoughts on that. But overall, this was a solid pickup. It's a solid upgrade over the Blu-ray. And I just think you should pick it up if you like the movie. But that's all I've got here. Thanks for stopping by and watching my 4K review for Megan. I know this is a quick one, but we've got a whole week of these things that I've got to get through. Like I said, also not much going on here with the special features and stuff like that. But thanks for stopping by. If you want to see all my 4K reviews and my reviews, consider subscribing to the channel, hitting the little bell so you're notified because there will be a video every day this week if you're watching this on release day. And we've got a lot to cover. I recently just did the Halloween Trilogy Steelbook, so you can check that out. Again, I did Pumpkinhead on 4K, so a lot to cover on the channel. But that's what I've got. Thanks for stopping by, and I will talk to you guys in my next review.